Microsoft Word provides multiple ways to view your documents. Um, the most common way to view your documents and the way I recommend when you're in the writing phase of your document, um, when you're writing out your content, is really to use the print layout view. This lets you see, it's a, it's a WYSIWYG, or uh, what you see is what you get type thing, so you can see how it's going to look on the screen. Um, when you begin organizing your thoughts and want to start writing your paper at the very beginning, you may wish to use a feature that's called Outline View. Works for some people, not for everybody. Just thought I'd let you know. Some people like to outline, other people don't. But if you like to outline, this is a great feature built into Microsoft Word. Outline View allows you to create and easily modify your document structure. You can also use Outline View after you've written your document to help reorganize the content, as long as you've used the styles to tag your headings. And we'll talk about more, st more about styles in the writing module, um, but it's sort of a key feature. If you've used styles, then outlining will work. Um, in this demonstration, I'm going to create an outline of my document using Outline View, and I'll then make use of the Outline View to move some content around to show you how um, that feature works. So first of all, I'll hit a carriage return here, and then I'm going to plop down to Outline View. So to get to Outline View on the Mac, there's two ways. You can either use the Tools, um, sorry, the View menu, View Outline, or you can go down to the buttons at the bottom corner here, and the one that's staggered list is your Outline View. So I click here and I get my Outline View. Um, so you'll note the first thing you're going to see is the text that's already on the screen. This is indented to the furthest level. That is body text. That means it's not part of the outer structure of the document. It is the text within. Um, I'm going to use for this demonstration um, an outline for a document that I've written. Um, starts with an introduction. The introduction is um, a heading one. So we'll pop over here and you can see I've moved it to level one. So I've promoted to heading level one. So this is promote to heading level one. This button here is demote to body text. Um, and then these um, promote or demote change the levels of your document. So my introduction doesn't have any levels in it. Um, the next one is data preparation. Okay, um, and then my data preparation actually has two sub headings in it. It has, and I'm going to hit, if I hit the tab key, that does the same thing as demoting one level. So I tab in, so I demote one level, and I have narrative, narrative, and I have a, an academic report. Okay, and then I do the same thing. To go back, I can do a um, shift tab. So shift and tab at the same time is the same as hitting um, this button here. So I jump back. And I've got several different levels in this document. So I have um, descriptive statistics, and I have a section called bivariate correlation. Um, and then one here called Structured Equation Modeling. And finally, one called uh, Multiple Regression. Okay, and at any point in time, I can add content to the module by going into Body Text. So if I go into Body Text, um, I can go over here and then I can add some content. Okay, so for my multiple regression, rather than typing, I'm actually just going to copy and paste some text into here. Um, so you get a little bit of text into this m module. Okay, um, so this is sort of what the text would look like in the module. And then within this module, again, like the other module, um, I also have a narrative. So I can do here, if I type in narrative, you'll notice that this is at that level and I now want to make this a, a heading so I'm going to promote it but then I'm going to have to demote it again because I wanted a subheading of multiple regression. Okay, the other thing I want to show you is um, that to, to if there's too much information and I just want to collapse it, I can just click here and then the information will go away, it'll collapse. When information is collapsed you can see there's a little underline here. That just tells me that there's information underneath that information. Now, if I decided that, wait a second, I can't say multiple regression, but f or I can't say structured equation modeling until I've done multiple regression. I've done them in the wrong order here. So what I want to do here is I'm going to reorder things. But before I reorder things, I want to make sure I collapse it first. And the reason is that way everything gets held within that one icon, and then I can just drag and drop to move it up. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you, so that it's, that's, that's how simple it is to move things around. The other thing I wanted to show you here um, 
And the big tip with that, sorry, the big tip there is to make sure that you've collapsed it before you move it. And so to make sure you're collapsing and not collapsing, um, one trick is to just show only the level you want to see. So if I want to only want to show the two levels, this is what it's going to see. So the body text that was at the beginning of my document is no longer being shown because it's not, um, it's not level two. So this only shows level one and level two. If I only want to see the level one headings, I go like this and it hides it. Now, the things that have level two headings still have the little underlines. So the things that still have things underneath them, you can tell that there's stuff under there. But then I can just easily, you know, drag and drop to move things around. So it makes it really easy for me to structure my document, organize my document, and figure out sort of what I want my document to look like um, without, um, yeah, with just being able to see it slip simply on one page. And then when I'm finished, all of this kind of stuff, all I need to do is go back on to here and go back to print layout view. So I click to print layout view and what you see is the documents with the headings. Um, and you can see that under my multiple regression, I have the chapter that I put there. And those are my heading ones and heading twos. And that's how to use outline view.